Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the applications of a computer analysis, okay, of road accidents data. So basically, nowadays or in the last few years, accidents, road accidents are re becoming really common things, right? Yes. So basically, if why do these happen, guys? Other than the driver's negligence, so it might be due to road condition, all those things, right? Yes. So these things can be repaired, right? Yes. So that is the reason why, based on the occurrences or based on the probability that there could be a chance, we can upgrade those places, guys. Okay. So road accidents has become some of the major issues with many fatal deaths. Okay. So the development of any country can be generally be affected by the road accidents. Okay. So data analytics techniques are used to build a prediction model for the road accident. Okay, so basically it is going to predict the things guys. So that is the simple thing. Okay, so the model are used in a real time scenario. So to make some policies and avoid accidents. Okay, so to avoid some kind of accidents, you can say in Tesla we are having right. So autopilot and all those things. So will it touch any other car guys when it is in autopilot? No, right? Yes. So in that way, it will be having its own things, right? Yes. So the two popular models which we are we will be using are nothing but the na uh, artificial neural networks that is nothing but uh, in simple words you can say using a machine learning and decision trees to decide things right yes so this is the simple flow guys so initially you will be starting you will be collecting the data and you will be performing the processing okay then you will be building the model okay so once the model is ready you can give the input and you can expect for the output so this is a simple flow diagram for the data for the analysis guys okay or the model you can say okay so computers can also be used to reconstruct motor vehicles crashes and hence these crashes can be analyzed by vehicle manufacturing companies that, so that they can change the designs of the things as per the requirements so assume that okay okay so as we discussed based on some things you can just predict right yes so rather than prediction if everything whatever has happened whatever you describe if that is making it into an animated video or any kind of small clip in that situation you can just watch it within a minute right yes so that is an advantage right yes so it will be creating a simulation in simple words you can say okay yes few of the popular programs using which you can do it is nothing but a general calculation program okay so the program performs a general physics calculation with the speed and accuracy okay like speed distance etc so any kind of a physics operations or calculations okay similarly sophisticated analysis of problems okay so a series of calculations are done so basically one is dependent on other guys if you solve this you will reach here so if you solve this you will reach one more plus in that way right yes so a series of calculations are done here so here we are having multiple types so that is nothing but yes v o s m that is a, sorry h v o s m that is nothing but a highway vehicle object simulation model okay so from the name only you can say so basically it is going to simulate the user right yes so this is a simulation program that is in 3d and it is having four wheeled vehicles and can be simulate anything guys okay so it is used to study how vehicles interact with the media me, medians and barriers okay so basically how it is going to interact we will be checking here similarly smac that is nothing but simulation model of automobile collision okay so these are also some kind of some this is also a computer program which simulates two different car collisions so the inputs which we will be giving are nothing but the car speed as well as the position impact so basically what is the car speeds and what is the exact position before collision and based on that you will be deciding what kind of collision happened right yes so using that it creates a simulate simulation to determine the final position of the vehicle so basically after they hit each other what is the final position so that also we need so that will also be considered here okay similarly the one more method is nothing but a crash only guys the full form of a crash is a nothing but a cal span reconstruction of accident speed on highway so basically on highways and any kind of popular traffic areas there is a high chance that there could be some accidents guys 
okay so here you will be reconstructing it based on some values okay so that comes under the crash method similarly the last method is a nothing but a his guys human impact simulator okay so basically these programs are used to maintain the response of a human okay yes so basically we do have many more applications so basically these are not the limited application guys we are having more also okay yes for our examination these three could be enough i think so okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea on this so now we are done with the unit one of road safety engineering guys so in the next lecture we will be going through review of this particular unit after that we'll be starting the next unit okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching